I grew up in South Dakota uh, on a cattle ranch. My dad could build anything. He was a craftsman, he you know, did everything on the ranch. So one of the first things that I learned as a kid was to um, explore my surroundings and, and I became very in tune with, with nature. That's something that I think has carried through in the rest of my life, the sort of inner drive to do things and to create things paddling on the water. I feel connected not just to nature and the, the things that I'm seeing around me, but I really, I feel connected to my father. When things go wrong in life and people you love go away, there are very few things you feel like you can control. In boat building, it's kind of like this big, long exercise in, in patience and in delayed gratification. And there's a real satisfaction that comes for me um, uh, making a boat and making a canoe. You're kind of creating order out of chaos. After my dad died and I came back to Long Island, um, you know, I was staring out the window at this big snowstorm and I had dad's tools from the cattle ranch. And, and I thought, well, what can I make with Dad's tools? And I thought, well, since I live on the water, maybe I'll make a boat. And so that's what I did. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I had to buy books and watch videos and really teach myself the whole process from, from the ground up. It was definitely part of my healing process after my dad's death. Um, it was a meditative um, art that I could pursue independently, uh, and it, it was really quite a reprieve from the day-to-day -day pressures of my day job as CEO of Bedell Sellers. I view boat building in the same way that I kind of view winemaking, because it takes you a whole year. It's almost like a vintage, right? You can't just suddenly decide you're going to make wine. You need to first grow the grapes. I don't really get a day off, and um, so for me to be able to come into this wood shop and just kind of tune it all out, just all kind of brings me to a different place. Nothing brings me more joy, frankly, than paddling my own canoe. Uh, and when I finished it and took it out on Peconic Bay for the first time, it was a very emotional experience um, for many reasons, but it connected me not only to my, the memory of my father, but you know, I had just spent more than a year of my life working on this thing, and finally got it in the water and saw it and, and felt it under me moving through the water. Um, I just broke down crying. It was such an amazing experience for me. Um, and I'll never ever forget it. And I don't know if it'll be that magical when I paddle my second, third, and fourth canoes in the water, but, um, but that certainly was an unforgettable moment for me.